What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And I'm sorry, guys. The, the second I thought that every single possible Town Hall 9 attack strategy has been seen, it has been done before, there's no such thing as a brand new attack strategy. We've, we've been there, done that. We've seen it all. Wrong. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to take a minute to break down the base. We're going to go ahead and break down the strategy, give you guys ideas on what to look for in hopes that you could try this attack strategy as well. Uh, first thing I wanted to get out there is, uh, well, well, actually, the very, very first thing I want to get out there is the name. We're just going to go ahead and call this one the Drag Ho. I like it. Hopefully you do, too. Using the drag ho attack strategy, we're gonna have Sandstorm performing this. Usually I show three replays, uh, but since we just saw it, I only have one from this war, FYSB versus AZ Wildcats, and then I have one more replay also from Sandstorm from our current war that's going on right now in FYSB. But uh, I did wanna start off by saying we have seen, and I've even done it myself, uh, back in, woo, way back in the Town Hall 8 days where we would do this kind of dragging, like kind of funky hog attack. Um, but that was on Town Hall 8. Town Hall 9 is a completely different ball game. So we're gonna, go we're gonna go ahead and break down the attack and figure out what kind of bases you can use this attack strategy on as Town Hall 9s come in all different uh, base layouts, you know, uh, defense layouts, wall layouts. Town Hall 9s are by far the funkiest Town Hall uh, base louts that, that you'll ever see. So the first thing is the queen is always going to be kind of buried. As you guys see right here, uh, she's kind of buried and you'll see it's usually going to be on bases where there's no air defenses around her. Reason being is you're sending in your dragons. Not only you're doing two things with your dragons. Usually you're bringing five of them, just like how Sandstorm has in this attack. Uh, the dragons are doing two things. Number one, they're taking out the enemy queen. With the BK in the position that he's in, you're kind of getting a two for one because taking out the BK is also helping the hog portion of this attack. At any rate, dragons get the queen and dragons also are helping break the defensive ring. Uh, heroes are nowhere near the dragons. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and draw this up real quick. Uh, so here, uh, dragons are going to be coming in right here. Whoops. Uh, dragons will be coming in right here. And he is going to have a raid spell for them. He's also going to drop a heal spell for the dragons as they are taking quite a bit of heat from the queen damage and the expo damage. And there's also a couple Teslas uh, underneath the spell factory right there and right there. So again, the dragons are doing two things. Killing enemy queen, king is bonus, breaking the defensive ring. So dragons are pretty much going to be taking out all of this crap right here. Heroes are going to come down. Uh, and take out this mortar. They're going to take out the cannon, the air defense, which is also going to help with the dragons, and also take out this cannon, leaving, as you guys see, just like you see in a lot of the Town Hall 10 videos and all the hog attack videos, you always have to break that defensive ring so there's a clear path of where your hogs are going to go from defense to defense. So he's going to be sitting in his hogs right here. Uh, yeah, he'll be sitting in his hogs in like so. He's also going to be in the clan castle, for those of you wondering, he does have six maxed out hogs flying out at CC right towards this mortar. And they're going to be up with this main group where he's going to have a heal spell there. That is a really big heal spell. Uh, where he's going to have a heal spell right here. And he's going to have a heal spell right here by the expo and those wizard towers. So that's pretty much the sketch. Uh, that's, you know, just kind of the plan uh, drawn up. We're going to go ahead and hit play. There's nothing like seeing it live. And yes, this is a cleanup. Uh, for those of you wondering, there is a hound in the CC. So perfect example, when there's a hound CC, uh, dragons are not going to trigger that hound to come out. Um, the hogs will, but again, a hound's not going to do anything to the hogs. Literally nothing. Uh, so right here, we're also going to get good value from these heroes because th there's also a bonus Tesla up there. And as you see, the dragons will be taking out the two Teslas uh, like we had marked down. So there goes the five. 
Uh, he probably could have dropped a couple of those dragons right at 12 o'clock as they do have to beat through that high HP town hall uh, before they really start getting uh, into the meat and potatoes i.e. the heroes and the expos. Uh, as you can see, heroes already did a bunch of work. Queen took out both cannons. She took out that AD. And notice she does still have queen ability. Went ahead and dropped down a rage for the dragons. Pretty much one shot the queen under that rage and goes ahead and drops a heal. Probably maybe not even needed the heal. Maybe could have even swagged it. Uh, he went ahead and dropped down a couple hogs though at the Tesla or the two Teslas up at the top. So here comes the hogs. Queen did an awesome job. Got all kinds of value from her. So here you see the defensive ring has clearly been broke. There's a nice L-shaped path through the defenses for the hogs to go. And he does still have two heal spells. And again, he probably more than likely swagged the heal spell on those dragons. They would have taken out that expo either way. But just another example to, to show you guys uh, how powerful this attack is. And I'm telling you, there is not a single Town Hall 9 out there. Maybe until they watch this video. But there's not a single Town Hall 9 out there that is building their base to defend this attack. Because, I'm sorry, I'm in a bunch of clans. I do a bunch of recaps. I've been all over the leagues within CWL, NDL. I've never seen this attack. Maybe you have. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of uh, hate comments uh, down below. But I have never seen this attack using five dragons with 18 hogs uh, suing your heroes and bringing hogs in the CC and three starring a fully maxed out uh, Town Hall 9 base. Of, co of course, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have seen it. You know, I love hearing you guys' comments. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty active in the comment section. But that is gonna be the drag hoe. Like I said, I usually like to show three examples when we're showing you guys these new attack strategies or, or you know, these, these oddball attacks. I only have two of them. Again, it's brand new. Maybe I'll have some more for you guys. But let's go ahead and get into the second attack using drag hoe. All right, guys, we are back. This is our current war going on right now. FYSB versus Mecha Alliance. Huge, huge shout out to them. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw this one up. I want you guys to get a good look at the base. It is uh, a different base layout, but as we drop the plan and we watch the replay, you will notice that he's uh, Sandstorm is going to be starting his heroes more or less in the same exact spot that he did in the last attack. And same thing with the dragons. Uh, I do like this one even better. Not only... Uh, you'll see this replay is going to end in a minute and 50 seconds just to show this is a sub two minute attack. The last one went about two minutes and 45 seconds, uh, but this one is way, way smoother and it is, it is is also a fresh hit and it is a different CC. This is going to be a damaged CC and uh, right when he drops down his dragons, it will be coming out. We'll show you guys how he's going to go ahead and deal with that. Heroes are going to be coming down over here at three o'clock and again, just showing you guys a different base layout. He does, uh, Wise does have, or uh, Wiss does have split heroes. Uh, he has King way down here, and he has Queen way up at the top. We'll show you guys how he goes ahead and deals with that. But we will go ahead and draw this one up for you guys real quick. Um, so like I said, in the last one, same thing. He's going to go ahead and drop down. Uh, and the, the troop comp really didn't even change that much. So we're gonna have, and there's a live attack. This war is ending in just a few minutes. We'll go ahead and see how, what the outcome was after this attack. Stay tuned. Uh, he goes ahead and drops down all five of his dragons, again, right there at the top. And he will go ahead and drop down a raid spell for those five dragons. He is, like I said, he is gonna drop down his heroes, ironically, or coincidentally, in the exact same spot in the last attack. He is gonna go ahead and drop BK and Queen up here uh, Queen is actually going to take out this bomb tower, which is huge uh, for a hog attack. And the heroes are going to round the bend right here. And he is, in fact, going to take out that enemy king uh, with his heroes and also uh, a couple Teslas, a mini Tesla farm down. They're going to get huge value for his heroes. And uh, once he breaks the defensive ring, he is going to go ahead and send in... Uh, we'll just actually we'll go ahead and back this up once we see the heroes. He is gonna be sitting in his hogs all over here at three o'clock. He's also gonna be dropping down his CC hogs to meet up uh, with the main pack. There's a CC, and we'll be he'll be dropping down one heal spell. He'll be dropping down another heal spell over a lot of the splash. Uh, 
the splash damage coming from the wizard tower and the point defense coming from the double cannon, the archer tower, and the expo. And wait until you guys see how far his dragons get in this attack. All right, so that's enough of that. We're going to go ahead and hit play and watch exactly how he breaks this down. And again, I want to remind you, this is a fresh hit. Uh, so we don't know where the Tesla's are, don't even know what's in the CC. So Wizard uh, Wizard was down on that mine just to help funnel for the heroes as he does want them uh, to round three o'clock down here and head down. So King, nice and classic, just tanking um, for the Queen. And uh, you'll see he already has all five of his dragons down. Again, being a damage CC, went ahead and dropped down a poison to go ahead and slow down the baby dragon and take care of the witch and the skellies. So Rage Spell is down. They're, again, they're going to one-shot the queen with those five dragons. And right here, Jet Pops King ability takes out Tesla. King is going to make it uh, to the Archer Tower. Started his hogs nice and early, a lot earlier than the first attack that we saw. Um, so you have uh, the dragons uh, absorbing a lot of the uh, damage coming from the Wizard Tower and the Archer Towers while the hogs swoop in. Heal spell down right there in the core. Enemy BK is down, still has queen ability, and uh, he still has all kinds of hogs up. Second heal spell is down. He still has one more up, and look at how far his dragons got. I mean, they started up there at 1 o'clock, made it all the way past the core, uh, and they finally go down to the wizard tower and the arch tower right there, but look at how many hogs he still has up. And this was kind of a heal spell just in case. Pretty much swagged it. He probably thought maybe there's a giant bomb right there. Swagged queen ability. Dragons almost survived till the very end of the raid. And just like on any hog attack, you always want to make sure you have plenty of cleanup. You want to, you know, you definitely want to pack uh, a couple wizards, a couple goblins, archers for the huts. Uh, he forgot the one at six. He still had an archer. Um, but I mean, he had well over a minute to, to clean up this base. I, I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Is this attack strategy going to stick? We do see a lot of Town Hall 9s that are building uh, bases with their air defenses offset from the Queen. If you put an air defense by the Queen, you can pretty much CB Lalo it. Uh, but yeah, so we see more and more Town Hall 9s with um, offset air defenses. I don't know, this one's going to be pretty tough to defend. Uh, this one's going to be really, really tough to defend. I'm really curious to know what you guys think of this attack. We're actually going to go ahead and check out the results. I'm pretty sure the war has ended and that is a victory for FYSB, the final 114 to 111. Uh, but that sidebar, we want to focus on this new Town Hall 9 attack strategy. We're calling it the Queen Ho. It's brand new. I've only seen it uh, in the war against AZ Wildcats and this war against Mecha Alliance. Try it out in FCs. If you're feeling ballsy, try it out in a war and let me know, uh, either hit me up in Discord, let me know in the comment section if you tried out this attack. And I wanna know what you guys think of it. If you guys liked it, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Um, comments, questions, or concerns, always down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.